Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 3 of our 13th season at Horror FC Liège. I am the Custard Prophet, and I can officially state that Mr. Pekega, our new striker, is not the second coming of Ignacio. He is, in fact, quite a good striker. Alright, let's get into it. We'll start here and you can see things haven't been going quite to plan. What's really interesting and apart from in the last game is the problem that we appear to be having is not the problem that we've ever had before. Defensively we've always been fairly solid not conceding vast amount of goals but the problem tends to be when we go through a rut it's because we're not scoring enough goals but as you can see we are still scoring goals but we've managed to go through a rut anyway so since we were last together which was the most thrilling of games against Mechelen 3-3 it finished we have then followed that up with a 4-5 loss against Kotsrich this was a ridiculous game of football Pekega got a goal Nana Masic got a couple um, we were level we were behind we were never really in front and to be perfectly honest they were the better team but it was a fun game it was a, a real fun game just not fun not getting any points out of it we followed that up with an away game against club bruges we got smashed 5-0 not good not good at all uh, we needed to come back strong and we played zolt vargem who are the surprise packages this year they took a 2-0 lead in a tight game pekega got himself a goal but we were unable to break, uh, uh, get a second goal and, and get a draw out of that game. And then we followed that up with a game against Lierse. This is a team that we should be beating. But again, we went 2-0 down and uh, Ibrahim Assise got himself a goal. But it was a bit late and uh, we didn't quite manage to, to, to come back into this. And, and we are conceding silly goals at silly times and it's disappointing. That. So at that point, I was worried because these are teams at home that we should be beating that we're losing to and it's it's not good so we went away to stvv i changed things around a little bit i bought the uh, defensive line back i bought the uh, the line of engagement back a little bit I'm, i tightened up the team a little bit so um, I did, i'm not playing wide not trying to play wide um and this is what happened we won three nil away from home two fantastic goals from pekega both of them brilliantly taken. He could have got a hat trick. He had a, a, a tricky chance to get his third goal. He hit, he, he hit the uh, uh, goal, but the keeper made a save. And Van Dam getting a uh, getting the other goal. But uh, we also had a disallowed goal. Cisse scored, but we had a man blocking the goalkeeper's sight. So I was pretty pleased with this, and it does put us a little bit ahead of the bottom two but again we we're in a similar sort of situation th that we were last time but hopefully that win can spur us on a little bit more solid at the back we certainly were um and we were making some good blocks and some good challenges they were struggling to get through us so today we are going to play playing genk in the cup we haven't done that for a little while so we thought let's throw in a cup game if we get through this i think we get to the quarterfinals so that would be kind of nice genk are a decent side but we have beaten them a few times before let's have a little look at the record so we haven't beaten them many times we've had a couple of wins against them um as you can see the last two games that uh, we played them at home we have managed to hold um hold them to a draw and a win uh, Delanoy and Untermack with a goal. Yeah, I remember that one quite well. And then a 2-2 draw against Genk um, from earlier this season. So let's see what happens. Um, I think it could be quite interesting. Um, Genk may rest a few players. So we've got a chance here maybe to, to make some progress in the cup. It would be excellent to get through this match. Let's have a look at the squad that we're going with. So here's the team. Pekega is leading the line. Um, and he's absolutely um, going to be doing that um, this this time. Van Herk is very much rooted to the bench, unfortunately for him. But uh, here we go. We've got Masic on the left, Nana on the right. Theory is coming in in that uh, central midfield role. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, Lucas Van Dam is a little bit knackered, so we're just leaving him out. We're playing Jacques Watt alongside Saidi. Been playing around with these roles as well because Jacques Watt has really been quite terrible in every role I've given him. So giving him the box to box, um, did, did toy with the idea of him and Saidi being deep line playmakers because both of them are really effective passers of the ball. Uh, and, and just kind of 
uh, allow us to sort of pick the passes further up but um the box to box seemed to work last well last time so we'll go with that funnily enough we go with ron deal at left back coida is out at the moment he's not playing particularly well and the central defensive partnership for the first time i think this season is cisse and geostathis he's been injured most of the time and maybe that's a big important thing uh mayenga is on the right side um okay let's let's see how they how we do with this squad remember also we are going to be naming one of our youth team players or you're going to be naming one of our youth team players um at in in a couple of episodes time um we've only had one um potential name that's come in um so that one is winning currently i'm not going to tell you who it is but uh, that one is winning and all you've got to do to name it is i want a fact a fake fact for a real person so for example um uh, dennis wise in invented the fish finger you know a random fake fact for a real person we've had one of those so far but i want some clever interesting more fake facts coming in and we'll see who's best and probably at the end of the season we will name our player okay let's get into it right we're kicking off with an encourage uh, we're starting on cautious just because gank are a decent side um, we're going to force them to come at us and then and then hopefully we'll be able to break with the pace that we've got So first opportunity to Genk, it's at the back here, Menschel, DeWolf, it's a great name that is, Meles no, I've thought, Malaysia, DeWolf, can we nick the ball off them? Dib, he has caused us so much trouble over the years, that's a hard one to say, DeWolf, this is a good play at the minute, but we have got our head to that, and DeWolf plays it in there, we, our defender doesn't quite get to it. And Masej has won that, he's through, now can he play the ball, can he play in Pekega? He's looking for the ball. It's Nana at the far post. That is absolutely awesome. What a header. Does a little cartwheel to celebrate. Absolutely brilliant. And he's only a little lad, but 1-0. What a great header that was. Masic did all the work down this left-hand side. Waited for the, the player to come. And there he is. He comes in. Beats the uh, the defender who was completely static. It's his pace that got him in front. And there we go. 1-0 up. What a great start. First shot of the game for us, and we will um, we'll encourage them again, I think. Well, it's half time. It was a, um, I mean, certainly in terms of XG, they had the best of it, uh, just about. They had a few more shots, but most of them were from, from distance. Um, as you, uh, I was going to say, as you can see, but you can't actually see where they, uh, the opposition shoot from in this, uh, in this thing. But... Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. We we limited their, their decent chances. As you, you can see they had a, maybe one or two good, reasonable chances, but nothing absolutely superb. And actually, our best chance that we had was not the one we scored. Um, so we are creating some good chances. Not many, not very many of them, but um, at the moment, the team is doing all right. So let's go into the dressing room and it, get these guys fired up. Yep, happy with that. I think that's absolutely right. They're all inspired and motivated. That's exactly what we want. And we get into that second half and um, we'll shout at them. Um, do we praise them? Let's let's see this highlight. Masech, he heads it. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, mistake from the defender. Legrand just beats the defender to that. He's going to have a shot. There's no one here. Said, no, that was a wonderful challenge. No, it did not look like a foul. We're not even having VAR and just accepting it. That's interesting, isn't it? Always VAR. Dib. And it's in. It's one all. And that's really disappointing because that looked like a splendid challenge from Saidi. He got the ball. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the player was a kind of an afterthought. Dib. And they, yeah, they defend. The goalkeeper just dived on the spot there. That's disappointing. Do we go? I don't think we change it. I don't think we change it. We keep things exactly as they are because I think that was unlucky. We'll demand a little bit more and we'll just see what we can what we can pull out here. Right, so we, we got to 65 minutes. I think this is the time we're going to nip it up to balance. So we're not going crazy attacking. We'll also have a little look at possible changes to make. Um, I think theory has been quite poor. So we're going to bring on Valette, who is a, another 
decent option there. Youngster through, in, through our youth team. Can he provide us with the, the skills and the, the ability at the end here? Right, and Nana is looking a little bit knackered. Coleman is a good replacement for Nana. We are looking tired. So there we go. Coleman is coming on. Saidi, we don't really have a replacement there for, for any either of those central midfielders, which is not ideal. Uh, Van Herk potentially could come on for Pekega. We've not seen him much today. He's not really had a chance. Been marshaled well by the Genk uh, goal uh, defenders. Yeah, we'll make the change there. Delanoy coming on for Masec. Again, pace down the left side. And we get to extra time. Not not bad. At the moment, you say uh, Genk have this one. Um, at, the, at the minute, they, they played better. Well, I'll say we've been the better side. That's a lie, but... I wonder actually whether we just push back to cautious and just allow them to come at us and just try and hold off and get to that penalty. Demand more. Just try and get a little bit more out of them. We should get another chance here, but Mayenga, is he going to play the ball in? Saidi. That's an interesting ball. He sort of disguised that well. That's a terrible ball from Rondil. That's not what we wanted to see. No, 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 no. Goalkeeper, please. Oh, what? What a tackle that was from... What a challenge. It's Duval here. David Duval. Who's that? That's a golfer, isn't he? Coleman into Saidi. Col oh, the highlight stops there, but what a challenge that was. I mean, I'm not happy. We do have... We do have a... Uh, possibility here we, we're absolutely knackered here I think probably it makes sense to make the fourth change as it's cup and we're into extra time Ponte is going to come on almost immediately oh here's a oh nice Legrand it's in it's in Daniel Dossinia and how disappointing we've was that is that because I brought Ponte on I don't know where Ponte is here, but not sure. Right, we've got to come out, haven't we? We've got to come out and get positive. We're going to move him on to a shadow striker role on attack. A little bit more attacking there. Um, Jack Watt. We're going to an advanced playmaker there and Ron Deal and co we are going to have on attack which is probably a big mistake but let's see right at the end here whether we can start to create a couple of chances but here we go it's Ron Deal it's Jacques Watt nicely done Ron Deal Jacques Watt He's <laughs> Rondeal's back it again. Oh, and Coleman just over the bar. Unfortunate. We've not seen many chances, but uh, that would have been nice if he could have just popped that in. So we'll start the uh, the second second part of the uh, the half. I mean, if we lose this, does it matter? Not probably a huge amount, but it looks like we are coming into it at the end here. Delanoy. That's a terrible ball, though. I guess he's got to do it. He's got to play it. Does senior. Uh, we were just a little bit late in there with the challenge. Croquette. Deval. Who's this who's the the actor? Somebody. Is it Robert Deval? Ball over the top. And it is Ponte who misses the header. And there has been a lot of those things going on. Disappointing. And just highlights why Geostathis is so much of a better player. But we are looking absolutely shattered. We really are. <laughs> oh my, they need a break after this. Saidi can barely move. But it's a chance. Pekega, um, we've not seen him at all. I mean, I was, I was saying how good he is, but in reality, he's done nothing. Ponte, another mistake from the lad. And that is so disappointing. Ponte's given away two goals. And 
Wow, I mean, that's disappointing too. Glaring errors from it. And th this is what we have been doing. Um, it's these individual errors at the back. Ponte, I don't know what he tried to do there, but he just put Croc in there. And uh, yeah, it left him with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. The whole of the defence was just taken out of it. It's not the end of the world. We we lost in extra time against Genk. It's, it's not a bad result if we finish 1-1 in normal time against Genk. I would have been happy with that. It was a dodgy penalty, um, certainly, and Saidi gets a seven, even though he gave that penalty away. Um, and yeah, we were just struggling at the end. We were trying to attack, but uh, clearly we were absolutely shattered defensively. So yeah, the guys were just not able to, to defend it properly. And the one defender who had legs wasn't able to, um, uh, well, just didn't have the quality, did he? So not happy, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, what what, have, what hit that has on morale, uh, which which could be a little bit expensive, potentially. It was a close game. I don't think we deserve to lose that uh, in the end because I don't think it was a penalty at all. Right then, folks. Let's, uh, we'll have a look at the uh, schedule and see where we're going to come back next time. So we've got some interesting games coming up. Um, a away game against Union looks like an interesting one, but possibly more of an interesting one. Although we did see Dines, didn't we, earlier in the season? We saw the standard game. Let's, let's see the game against Dines because they are below us in the table. So that potentially could be quite an important one. So we'll see that. That will be the one we come back for. Hopefully, we've picked up a few points in here. I think Charleroi, possible win. Uh, OHL, that's certainly one we should be looking to get something out of. And Antwerp, nah. Union, again, are a team that I would like to um, at least be getting a draw against them. Anyway, folks, if you have enjoyed this, as always, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.